Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. All right, guys, I know it's been a pretty gloomy day on multiple fronts, but I promise all we have to do is get through the rest of today and the weekend is looking fantastic around here. I'll show you that in just a second. But first, a look over Plattsburgh. You can see the open water of Lake Champlain there. And if you look really closely, you can even see some white caps on that open water. That's because we have a wind at 18 miles per hour out of the south southeast. That's why it's been a little bit warmer in the past couple of days. 44 the current temperature in Plattsburgh and you can see those southerly winds overspreading a lot of the region were sustained at 21 miles per hour in Saranac Lake and Messina 20 also in Rutland. And again, what that's doing is bringing warmer air into our region. Some spots already up to 50 52 in Bennington 47 Middlebury 45 in Burlington. Now I think there'll be a brief period of time where some of us in the Champlain Valley like the Burlington area do reach the 50 degree mark and that's going to come right ahead of a cold front and you can see the back edge of that storm is starting to work in and this is also the leading edge of colder air. But regardless, this is the look across the region now. We'll take you in on a slightly closer inspection across the North Country. Burlington area not looking too bad now. We had this uh, steady band of rain move through which now looks like it's entering the the Northeast Kingdom, so places like Newport, St. Johnsbury, you might want to look out for that. Looking like we'll have just one more period of rain to deal with, and then this stuff is going to shut off pretty fast. Also want to let you know if you head down Route 7, Rutland into Manchester, rain coming down pretty heavy at that time. And if you look behind the storm, I mean, it clears out really fast. There's almost nothing happening, and that's what's going to set us up for that gorgeous weekend I talked about. So here's the next 12 hours. I think we'll deal with the rain for a couple more hours, but by, say, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, the sun will come back out. We'll be near 50 degrees, and then we'll be dropping off pretty rapidly in the overnight. I think we do drop into the 30s with the wind shifting direction. Now, instead of coming out of the south, blowing out of the west. Here's the weekend, everybody. I think it's partly sunny on Saturday and a little bit colder, 42 for a high, but then a lot of sunshine expected on, sun, on Sunday where we have high pressure moving in. Now that is going to make things a little bit colder, only a high in the low 30s, but I mean, we'll take it after the mess that today was. So this is Futurecast. Watch how quickly everything gets out of here. By the evening commute, I think most of us are dry, maybe a spot shower or flurry in northern New York. But as we take you into tomorrow morning, I think, yeah, we'll find some clouds out there, but everything is pretty much done. May even start off with a little bit of sunshine in the Champlain Valley. The rest of your Saturday is looking quiet, and then here is all the sunshine by Sunday. You can see Futurecast clearing out. That is a very sunny day on tap for you. And again, just want to mention the wind will be shifting direction later today coming out of the west and still pretty breezy as we head into early Saturday. But as we get towards uh, Saturday evening, I do think those winds start to die down. So here's the five day forecast. We'll get past today with the rain and what's left of the significant wind. And we'll look towards the weekend where it's a lot sunnier. 42 on Saturday, 32 on Sunday. Monday also looking pretty good right now. We warm back into the 40s. And as we look at the rest of next week, it's looking like things will be all right. You know, we have a couple chances for showers in there, but every day is above normal, getting close to 50 on some days as well.